artificial intelligence, heckle, sticker, squeaky chair. Welcome to If We Dumb. I'm Fred Flintstone. And this is Barney Rubble. <laughs> what, is, what does Barney even fucking sound like? <laughs> I, I don't oh, know. Hey, hey Fred. Is he kind of like that? I think he was kind of like that. Hey, hey, Fred. Hey, Fred. I'm just happy to be here. I think he was like, if I remember Barney Rubble, it's been so long since I've actually seen the Flintstones. He was a little dopey, <laughs> and Fred was grumpy, I think, and mm-hmm. I feel like Barney just went along with whatever Fred was. Like, oh, sure un- unflappable. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's go bowling. Talk to Wilma. Yeah. And it was Betty. Oh, yeah, Betty. It was Barney and Betty. Bam Bam. That's for sure. There was Bam Bam. Fucking Flintstones. Welcome to another episode of I Wonder What the Flintstones Were About. Right. With Dan Cummins and Joe Paisley. Can you imagine? That was such a poor... We drug in a show that neither of us have any fucking idea what's going just, on. I didn't think the reference would stick. <laughs> That's your random nothing. reference. Now we have to dedicate our lives to becoming uh, Fr- Flintstone trivia masters. Well, good news. Halloween costumes are done. There, there's <laughs> there's so many podcasts out there. I wouldn't be surprised if there was a podcast like, two guys trying to figure out the Flintstones. <laughs> and just each week it's like, no, wait, was it Bam Bam? Or Super was it, in-depth though. There was, there was, what was, it, was it Tornado or Pebbles? So it's Pebbles. <laughs> and there was one episode... There was a neighbor. It was, uh, Fruity, Pebbles. Uh, Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> got mad at his eye. There was a the brontosaurus. <laughs> My favorite part of that, and then we're getting the fuck out of here. Okay. Uh, was the garbage disposal being like a dinosaur. And he oh, used to yeah. feed shit to it. Okay. He had to get it replaced. They bring fun. it out from the under the sink. That's right. <laughs> ah, come how on. about that? Come on. How about it? Uh, episode 30. Ah, Holy shit. 30th. The goal, as always, be less stupid when the show is over. Mm-hmm. And we've got a good one for you guys today. Uh, find us online, Facebook and Instagram at Is We Dumb. Got that private Facebook group, Is We Dummies. Uh, and as we record some of these shows in advance, my numbers are so far off. I'm gonna take a guess here. Okay. Uh, at this point, we've got to be somewhere around like six thousand members inside of that private Facebook group. Okay. It's, it's just yeah. exploding. I love I, it. I've time stamped them like in past episodes, and I'm, I'm already like fifteen hundred off. That's awesome. <laughs> so That's great news. Yeah, it's wonderful. Uh, you want to send in some segment content, do that at dumb at iswedumb.com. If you have any questions or just general whatever, info at iswedumb.com. Links for the videos we watch, we'll post those in the episode description. And we do have a, a mind-melting video today for the To You From Internet segment. Uh, merch, mm-hmm. badmagicmerch.com or iswedumb.com. Keep posting pics of you guys sporting that merch. It does help uh, other people find us mm-hmm. and Absolutely. come be smarter. Come be smarter. And be dumb. <laughs> when you said the um, whatever, whatever. Uh, I, I just immediately flashed on Monroe. I used to talk like that. I miss it so much. But she would say all the time, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Whatever. And you're like, <laughs> sure. <laughs> you're right. Whatever. Whatever. Um, any merch related questions, suck my dick. <laughs> Store at badmagicproductions.com. Our dumb, dumb idiots this week is really fun because yeah. the stories. Uh, have dumb on both sides. Great. And so that'll be a lot of fun. The, the things that happen and then the people that were doing it, everyone's fucking stupid. Okay, okay. <laughs> that'll be fun. And we also have our first ever listener submitted dumb in the wild on nice. today's show. I uh, I would like to add my own. Could I add a dumb in the wild now before we get into the segment later? Yes, let's do it right now. Because <laughs> Lindsay, Lindsay and I went to the movies, which sounds like we got a time machine. It's fucking illegal. Right, it sounds like illegal. It sounds like <laughs> Lindsay and I went to a speakeasy. <laughs> Watched a flick. And, and you had some illegal <laughs> whiskey. Popcorn. But we kept forgetting there was like, there's this uh, in Coeur d'Alene, well, just north of Coeur d'Alene, the little suburb, like Hayden, mm-hmm. there's this discount theater that they've stayed alive the whole time because they just play like, you know, older run movies anyway. And then they did this really cool thing uh, where like a lot of those movies that are released on like Amazon or Netflix that would have been theatrical movies. They'll like simul release it uh-huh. or whatever, but it'll, you can watch it at home or you can watch it in a place like that discount theater. And we just like, oh yeah, we could actually go to the movies. Let's go do a thing. So we went to the movies for the first time in forever this past weekend and <laughs> and remembered immediately what what I used to be annoyed about with the movies is like oh yeah there's there's other people oh that's right there's, and a lot of them don't know how to act right I gotta deal with shit I gotta deal with out some here shit. in the wild and just <laughs> and great movie we watched little things Denzel Washington and uh, and Jared Leto and the dude from Freddie Mercury Queen biopic uh-huh. it was a that guy. great movie Remy something I think uh, there was only probably eight of it well. 12 of us, maybe, in the whole theater. Not many. There's the amount of times I've gone to a movie there and been yeah. the only one in the theater. Yeah. It's, it's great. It's like, how do they stay around? Uh-huh. <laughs> so it was like, so very socially distanced, uh, uh-huh. like 12 of us in this whole theater, and no more than a minute into the movies. Uh, and it was weird, too, how quickly you get into them now because there's no previews. Mm-hmm. Minute of the movie, we just. Heard, <laughs> 
like the worst, <laughs> highest pitch squeaky noise. I'm like, oh, that's fucking annoying. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I thought it was these teenagers behind us for a second. And luckily, I didn't go crazy, guy. I'd be like, hey, quiet down, because it wasn't them. Mm. Took a while to locate the source of the sound. like a fucking bat trying to use radar to find <laughs> out where the sound's coming it's from. It's that high pitch that it's, oh. ba- it's like bouncing off of the, the walls. <laughs> Lindsay, <You're> like, <laughs> fucking, Lindsay was cringing. Well, we were able to identify the source of the sound because then this lady in the front gets up to use the bathroom. Magically, sound completely stops. There it is. Goes completely away. She comes back, sit, and we're like, I was like, please sit in a different chair. Please in a different chair. You, <laughs> have, you have to understand. Please forget where you were sitting. And it was constant. Yeah. It was like the fidgetiest person <laughs> who's ever gone to a movie sitting in the squeakiest chair. It's like me with my legs. <laughs> right. If they're hooked up to like a squeaky, to a squeaky machine. machine. Just squeaky machine. <laughs> the whole movie, she sits back down, immediately starts squeaking. I was like, God damn it. <laughs> And then she gets up again to use the bathroom. So she's also that person. It's like, how do you have to go to the bathroom fucking twice in an hour and a half movie? <laughs> yeah. And then she, she goes again. No squeaks. Come back, squeaks. And I just couldn't believe. And w- right back to... <laughs> and I just couldn't believe. And other people around us are like, what the fuck? You can hear people muttering under their breath. Like, God damn it. Should we kill her? Should we kill her? <laughs> Did you bring the rope? <laughs> oh, I forgot in the truck. I just can't believe like you can be that oblivious mm-hmm. to like not put it together that you're making that sound and it's super loud mm-hmm. and super annoying. It's her favorite sound though. Her favorite sound. <laughs> After the movie, I was like, I, I just, I didn't feel right not like saying anything. Her and her man. They go to use like uh, the bathroom right by the entrance exit. She wasn't alone. She wasn't alone. So the okay. So the guy sitting next to her. Now he's 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 just in trouble. Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm I'm mad at him too now because he couldn't be like, hey, uh, hey, would you, you maybe fuck, not do that? Hey, can you just like don't do that anymore? And they had the whole row to themselves. Uh-huh. So they if they would have just moved two seats in any direction, <laughs> they would have been away from the squeakiest chair in the theater or lapped up, <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, Sit on no. his lap, something. And then, so then, so walking by, I don't want to just be confrontational, but you know, I, I feel like saying something. So as Lindsay and I were leaving, I just said to her, I'm like, man, what a good movie. Too bad for all that fucking squeaking though, huh? <laughs> I mean, who was sitting in their chair squeaking the whole fucking movie? How do you not understand that's you? <laughs> and then as we, so then I say that as we leave and I look back in to see if I was getting the stink eye, oblivious. I was like, it must be nice. You're yeah. still sitting there. Still sitting there. <laughs> but I'm like, it must I like the credits. <laughs> <laughs> it must be nice to like be functional enough in life where it's like you can go out to the movies, you can do things. Like she had, you know, clothes on. Wow. She paid for things. Uh-huh. You know, she knew how to get in and out of the theater. So she knows how some of life works. She had the ki- the color ticket that tells you what color <laughs> right. movie theater to go she to. She went to the right movie she theater. Made she made it. Uh-huh. She made it in there. But then she never has to deal with like so much of the frustration and anxiety a lot of us have to do in life. Because <laughs> I get like anxious when I've done something terrible or I've messed up. I'm like, oh, fuck, I, I feel guilt. Mm-hmm. I don't think she probably feels any of that. Nope. She just goes through life being <laughs> just, <laughs> just squeaking away through life, right. not giving a fuck. Like, I, like uh, just having popcorn. <laughs> Right, she, right. The way that she eats is she just like throws it into her face <laughs> and everyone behind her is hitting. She, uh, she just doesn't get it. Right. Like, what the fuck? Can you, can you stop yeah. that? What? I what? <laughs> this, this is oh, what yeah. I do. So I eat popcorn. <laughs> I guarantee she, everything, like those the little annoyances like that, she does them all. Like when she's at a, you know, uh, Watching movies at home, whatever. She's mm-hmm. the person who just during the quiet parts of the movies eats the loudest, fucking crunchiest thing ever. I just doesn't care. Her at home having her special squeak chair. <laughs> like everyone else in the family gets like normal, like lazy boys, and then hers just like extra squeak. She gets like the opposite of WD forty for chairs. <laughs> she like takes it apart, and, sand, and <laughs> sands it, sandpapers it, and then makes sure it's really dry. Uh-huh. And then just okay, just like works it around until she gets that nice squeak. Like okay, now we're talking. <laughs> Here it is. Now, now I got Mama's chair going now, again. Now okay, I can enjoy this movie <laughs> peacefully. <laughs> Uh, you know what she should have done? Huh. You know. Oh, just, yeah, she should have. Just don't. <laughs> She's the perfect just don't. Exactly. You're right. As my as my daddy always said, just don't. Just like the advice we were given a few weeks ago, I should have just walked up to her after, after the movie, like, hey, just don't. Oh, actually, better, in the middle of the, I should have just stood up. Shh. Hey, just don't. <laughs> right. How great would that be if hey, I would have yelled that? Just don't. Oh, wait, a soft whisper over her shoulder. Just don't. Hey, just don't. Just don't. And then give her like a little back rub and punch her husband and then get the fuck out of there. That would have been fun. If she doesn't respond to just don't, every squeak, I fucking jack her husband in the face as hard as I can. Just kick in the back of her. Just fucking pa! Just hit him in the face again. And she's Make like, her stop! And then she's like, whoa! And then she, <laughs> pa! Just don't! <laughs> just, <laughs> she's so excited. Yeah. Please, please, please. please. But, yeah, just the fastest. <laughs> she gets the biggest shit eating grin on her face. <laughs> Just jumping up and down, squeaking as he's getting. This is not working how I wanted. <laughs> I, I didn't know you hated him. I, I thought you loved him. I thought uh, you loved sorry, him. Sorry, misread that entire situation. <laughs> uh, well, I'm sorry I had to deal with that. Oh, man, I welcome I, to back to public things. I wish you would have been there to remind me just to tell her our classic <laughs> advice, lady. Just don't. Just don't. Just don't.
You can never Fuck. go wrong with that. That was a perfect next moment time. for that. Go next back. Time. There'll be someone else to piss you off. Okay. And movie theater uh, tends to do that. That would be a fun thing to yell at people or whisper loudly, whatever, in movie theaters. Just a variety of annoyances. <sighs> just don't. Mm-hmm. That's, like a, that got, that's like a nice <laughs> threat. Yeah. But you couldn't get in trouble for it because you're not threatening somebody's life, but it's implied. It's a suggestion. Just don't. Because, mm-hmm. yeah, because they're like, what's going to happen if I don't? Am I going to get fucking beat? <laughs> they're getting up to go by you to go to the bathroom. You just put like, arm bar. Mm-hmm. Just just, uh, just don't. Just don't. Just Come don't. on. Come on. Bro. Sit down, bitch. Just don't. <laughs> That would be the great if you could fucking talk somebody back into sitting down. See that? And being their pants. Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Ah, uh, bro. Just don't. Just don't. And then they're just you're like right. confused. Like, okay. Yeah, no, they you're, just, you're right. Sit down. Yeah, no, that makes sense. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, laid back, laid back Todd. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, bro. That's cool. <laughs> No, uh, yeah, you're right. No, right. Yeah, no, man, you're totally. <laughs> you're right. I'm sorry about that. I, didn't, I mean, well, who cares? I'll just go my pants. I mean, it's not a big deal. Anyway, yeah, he, he, he just hands him money. Oh, thank you, bro. Like, <laughs> just the ten bucks. <laughs> Give him his popcorn. I don't. But... Just tell him, just don't, and just be like, just, just piss yourself. You have to go. <laughs> oh man, no, you're right. Because then that wouldn't bother anybody. And I mean, I mean, right. my jeans dry out. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a good idea. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's get the juices flowing. Okay. Although I think we've already done that. Yeah. But uh, here we go anyway. The very super most important starting question. This one is a mashup from dummies John and Carter. John and Carter. So I've uh, I've just pulled different stuff okay. and made one would you rather. Nice. Ready? Uh, yeah. <gasps> would you rather have to loudly heckle every performance you saw or be annoyingly happy all the time? <laughs> loudly heckle every performance you saw mm-hmm. or be annoyingly happy all the time? All the time. Did your brain go where I went with the uh, performance situation? Like uh, watching your kid at like a band recital? Oh, no. I was thinking. I didn't even think of the school stuff. Because at first I just thought like, well, I guess I should just stop going to live performances. Mm -hmm. But I really do love especially live music. But I didn't even think of like that counts as like kid stuff. Yeah, I can't watch any of my kid stuff. No. Oh, my God. (laughs) It's just, you know, just sitting there. You're just always there going, boo! (laughs) Shit's weak! (laughs) <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you're clapping though, like you're you're still. <laughs> you can't be FBL? happy. It's right. fucking terrible. <laughs> right. right. I guess a maniac in the stands. And, uh, and Kyler's so into piano, like that would just break him. <laughs> right now, oh, especially just just them, because like mm-hmm. the piano recitals at this one on one, one by one. So it's like every other kid, I'm quiet. <laughs> right. Well, I don't know. I guess no. I'd, no, I'd be yelling at everybody. <laughs> yeah, you're I'd super be, pissed. E- but, but I'd be yelling at each individual kid. Mm-hmm. So all his like you know kids that get taught by his same you know piano teacher. I'm I'm just the worst parent ever. <laughs> just like what he would have like, no friends in that circle. A heavy sarcasm would that be able to pass? Like, oh, you're doing good. <laughs> like, <is> nice. That... <laughs> I'm sure Mozart would be real happy right. to hear that. <laughs> Whatever you just did. <laughs> as long as sarcasm, you might be able to get by. Okay, if I did sarcasm, that's right. It. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, that is really good. Great job, Fats <laughs> Domino. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Performance though, oh I mean that's God. even your favorite band. Right. You fucking suck, but you're like so pumped to be there. <laughs> Woo! Get off the stage! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so can everyone across uh, like what the fuck is he? <laughs> it's my favorite band. You sucked it. <laughs> right, what? Right. Why? So confused. Everyone just uh, slowly migrates away from you. And then I just feel, I just feel, I'm, now I'm picturing like random little bars or restaurants you get to where they'll have live music sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like you're having a nice meal and all of a sudden they bring in and you're like, no, 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 no. Like, like some <laughs> yeah. like guitarist comes in or even like in a Mexican restaurant, the fucking mariachi band. <laughs> Boo. Fuck off. Get out of here. Go on. Get. <laughs> <laughs> you're probably, yeah. you, you, can, you can spend your whole life trying to not get performed to. <laughs> and then you have like a surprise birthday party and like, God. I mean, I always like to bring in the juggler. <laughs> <laughs> and like you're doing great. It's been right. years since you've seen a performance. And then your wife throws a surprise birthday party and there's a goddamn juggler there. <laughs> right. And he walks in and you're like, oh shit. Boo! Boo! I forgot. I forgot you can't. Career didn't work out. Now your birthday parties, <laughs> motherfucker. Ha ha! You suck. <laughs> Just like, like all the kids are upset. It, there's like there's sporting events. Like what, what is it? Performance? Street performances? Mm-hmm. I think about. <laughs> Walking by. Oh. Having a normal conversation. Yeah. Like you guys want to go down the street and there's like a, like a guy Fuck playing. Fuck you, juggler! <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up your Ass, unicyclist, free bird. <laughs> <laughs> but he's, fuck, it's just impulsive. 
It's like a form of Tourette's at that point, walking um, down the street. Right. I think about the promenade in Santa Monica where <laughs> Lindsay and I used to go all the time. We lived mm-hmm. there. It's just a, this big row of so many street performances. Street performances, I just, you just couldn't go there anymore. It's like be, a little walk. And, and a so lot of times it's like little kids. <laughs> It'll be like a six-year-old singing some like, I don't know, Stevie Wonder or some shit. Break just, dancing. Or, right. Break dancing. <laughs> just right in their face. <laughs> Boom! Boom! <laughs> <laughs> like thumbs down. <laughs> but that, Good luck you, making money with that, you idiots. Just, you're just mocking children constantly. It's if you're a terrible life. Oh, yeah. But also annoyingly happy all the time. You know those people. And I can't stand them. You know, for, yeah, true. I can't either. I can't but either. But it always than, reads as, it, it reads fake to me. Mm-hmm. And just too much. It's just, it's aggressive. It's, it's, it's like, too happy. It's like their happiness uh is at the cost of the happiness of all the people they encounter. It is textbook too much of a good thing. <laughs> right. Like and then it becomes like kind of right. suspicious. Like mm-hmm. what are you doing? What is going on with you? What pills did you find? And at first I was leaning towards that where I'm like, okay, well yeah, I mean of course I want to be happy all the time. <laughs> but how happy would you really be? Like you seem annoyingly happy. Lindsay would definitely leave me. <laughs> she couldn't handle that personality at all. She's, She's too talking about how terrible her day's been. Like that's great. That's great, baby. <laughs> that's great. But it's, tomorrow's going to be better, right? <laughs> Uh, I don't. My whole family just died. <laughs> That's yeah, but you, okay. Yeah, but you still have your friends, <laughs> right? You're still here. I love you, right? <laughs> right. She's like Jesus. I can't do this. Oh, that is that is the worst version of annoyingly happy to the silver lining person. Oh. Where no matter what you say, optimistic, just mm-hmm. always. Yeah, but you got. Yeah, but you. Am I? Am I? I'm paralyzed. Yeah, but you can still see. Right. But fucking what? Right. How you're, does that make? You, you're still working. Your mouth <laughs> works. Hey, but you're still breathing. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you won't be for long. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Uh, I don't I in. I can't picture you being anything besides heckling performances so I'd have to go that I'd, I'd have to <laughs> lean into heckling and my kids they would just accept that's that's part of their dad if sarcasm hmm? is in then I think I could do that yeah because I'm very sarcastic anyway yeah my, I mean my kids don't like it but they get used to it <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah I, yeah I think it, I think it is the best choice wow way to go like they know that, that right. that's like wow that's like me saying I love you uh, that was great. Do, doesn't a sexual performance count as a performance? Like your significant mm, other? I think it, I mean, maybe. It's like they're, they're giving you the strip tease. It's like fucking lame. I, it, it, Sit it, down, <laughs> loser! <laughs> yeah, I guess it would depend on what kind of sex you're having, because that sucks. I mean, they, when they're trying to sell, sell you like medication and pills and stuff, it is about your sexual performance. Right. So you are performing. I'm just picturing you, you boo yourself during sex? <laughs> you fucking idiot. Come on. Oh, you came already. Where'd it go, you dipshit? You call that a dick? <laughs> Like, wait, what? <laughs> right. Just talking to yourself. <laughs> you have to hate yourself for every performance as well. <laughs> Self sabotage. I would fuck my worst enemy with that dick. <laughs> like, like, what, that, what are you talking about? Right. This is like, God damn it, this is so hard. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> Softer. You have to b- boo yourself and her. <laughs> right. be a, that'd be hard. That'd be a rough sex yeah, life. Yeah, it depends on how far I guess you take the performance. Because if you took it that far, mm. then I I don't know. I might go to annoyingly happy if, if it's like all those little. I know parts of like home life. Is this a performance? Like right. right now, we're just booing right. each booing, other, the just whole constantly time? heckling each other. I think if you're watching a live performance, okay. like like a, like sexual wise, like if your wife's doing a strip tease just for you, I don't think I would count that. <laughs> but you can't go to a strip club. Nope. You're the fucking. You're the biggest asshole ever at a strip club. <laughs> yeah. Right. We're gonna break that pole. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I can I can hear it bending. <laughs> just like just mean stuff constantly. You got greased up to fit that thing on? <laughs> Way too small. A lot of guys here watching you work. <laughs> too bad one of them's not your dad. Could have used some more just like <laughs> constant, just monstrous stuff. Yeah, I'll get another Pepsi. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, yeah, no, two more Pepsi. And then you're, are you apologizing? I don't, I don't mean that. <laughs> right. That's just where, what an asshole would say. I don't actually even think that, but I have to, hey, fuck, get off of the stage! <laughs> right. no, this is just something I have to do. It's a, here's 20 bucks. It's a medical condition. Here's 20 bucks. Go buy yourself a dad! <laughs> oh, shit! It's just like the weirdest stuff. I don't know what to, but I like that. That's a world I think I could live in. I would be friends with that person. Oh, right. right. <laughs> in, over the knowingly happy one, I mean. <laughs> yeah. The heckler friend. Yeah, I uh, think so. Should I bring it again? I think so. Oh, yeah. Should I push this one though? It just feels like it's a wash. I don't even. I know. This is a hard one. It's a hard, it's a hard one. Yeah. It's a hard one. But I do think just being a mean heckler <laughs> or having to heckle live performances. I'd be happier inside. Yeah, because <laughs> at least you can choose not to go to places. Right. I would just, I would have to go to a lot less things. So, yeah, because a lot less places. Right. And, and then and then you're fine. But the annoyingly happy person, you ruin, 
You ruin every place. You, you ruin the live performances, too, because even that, that person, the annoyingly happy, like you're at a concert. Oh, my God, I love this song. Mm-hmm. I know you've said that about every single fucking song. Yeah, but they are all really good. I know. <laughs> so happy to be here. I want to hear them for myself yeah. without your commentary. Mm-hmm. That person can ruin everything. Oh, yeah. With forced laughter. That person would creep out the, the dancers, the exotic <laughs> dancers at the strip club, probably more than the mean person. The mean person, they just toss out. Yeah. But the annoyingly happy person just creeps all the girls. Oh my God, you're so gorgeous. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that is so sexy. You love me? <laughs> you love me? You love me? Oh my God, I'm so happy right now. I, we should date. We should, come on. Richard, come on. Richard Simmons is who I'm putting oh in a script club right now. Richard Simmons. <laughs> come on, girls. Come on, girls. You're doing so good. <laughs> Look at those dances. Guys, come on. More more clap for them. More claps, guys. Come on. They're working so hard. At one and two and one and two. Now I just pictured uh, uh, him down in the basement helping you with your fucking fight cl- fight bag that you punch. Oh, bag. my God. My fight camp bag as I'm boxing. Just Richard Simmons next to me. You're doing great, Danny. You're doing great. Come on. You got a break coming right up. You, you punch that bag like it's your fat gut. Stop it, Richard. Come on. I was trying to help. Right. He's grabbing your hips. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. <laughs> well, thank you guys, John and Carter. Thanks for uh, thanks for sending that in. That was a lot of fun. Um, let's move on to Dumb in the Wild, shall we? Let's do it. Dumb in the Wild. Have a look at this little beauty. And as I hinted at towards the towards the beginning, yeah. this is a listener submitted one sent in by Dummy Scott. Opens Scott. up very nice. Hey, fuck nuggets. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm a he dis- chose heckler. Okay, he did. Okay, so I'm a disabled Marine vet or Marine Corps. Iraqi war, vet, war veteran, sorry. Uh, and I was fortunate enough to find an organization who trains legitimate service dogs. Wow. I have one, Maddie. That's awesome. Yep, and she's the best dog ever. While at Target, a woman came straight up to her and started petting her. And she has patches on her that clearly say, do not pet. Because it is a service animal, right? Okay. We've all okay. seen them. Yeah. So I quickly pulled her to my side and said, no thanks, please don't pet her. Not uh-huh. yelling, not cursing, just polite and quick and to the right, point. Right, right, right. Uh, she then began explaining how she loved dogs and she couldn't help herself, blah, blah, blah. So I told her that doing that to a service dog is really bad for them and their handler. She started getting visibly angry and upset at me telling her that she couldn't pet her dog that is labeled, you know, do not pet the dog. Right, but not her dog. No, not her dog. Right, exactly. Mm-hmm. So when she goes on this big rant, how I was inconsiderate and how I don't think of other people's feelings oh about God. being around dogs, how could people be allergic and all that kind of stuff? Like, why didn't he think, you know, putting all this blame on him for right. bringing the dog for around? Having, for having a service dog? Yep. Says, I shook my head and walked out. I physically couldn't bring myself to talk to this woman any longer. Thanks for listening. <laughs> cool if any of these made the show. If not, go fuck yourselves. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> Maybe. Keep up the good work, you dumb motherfuckers, Scott. <laughs> I like uh, here, Scott. Here's a picture of Maddie. Just so okay. we can see the, the cuteness of the puppy. Oh, Maddie. Look at the puppy. So very clearly, do not pet. Do not pet. Mm-hmm. Very clearly. Service dog. Yes. So her- and, and I believe there's other patches that, you know, like, uh, do they reflect some kind of military service? I mean, there's the Nintendo yeah. controller, but then there's the military kind of coloring. Yeah. K9, K, it looks like it's K9S for warriors.org. Oh, okay. So I got to okay. zoom really in with my eyes. And there's the Nintendo controller, like you said. That's fun. Yeah, so, so anyway, that's very just obvious. Rude on and so she's, many levels. She's like, for her. oh, yeah, but I love dogs. So I couldn't help myself. Oh, that's a pass. Like, what a weird default to go back to. That whole thing oh, of like, I'm sorry, I'm addicted to drugs. <laughs> sorry, officer, that's why I did heroin. <laughs> I, I can't help myself. I can't understand. help myself. <laughs> I, I hate that phrase, too. That's just one of those phrases that um, you're, not, you're not necessarily a piece of shit if you're always saying, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> But there's a good chance you are. Yeah. Like, like you have a higher percentage of being a piece of shit than somebody who doesn't say that phrase a lot. I'm trying mm-hmm. to think of other phrases from some of the one-star heroes we've done in the past where I'm like, oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, they set it up. Mm-hmm. And, and that kind of phrase of like, oh, I couldn't help myself. Yeah, you could. I'm not. You could. I'm not, I'm not trying to sound picky, but. Right. Like, that's a good one. Right. <laughs> it's like, no, you are fucking picky. Yeah, always. Right. <laughs> I, I couldn't help myself. You could, you could every time help yourself. All of us. You choose not to help yourself because you're a selfish fucking ass. <laughs> that's how society works. Works. Right. 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 Is everyone just like helping and controlling themselves? Right. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, fucking anarchy. Right. <laughs> just otherwise, I'm just walking around the airport, just grabbing boobs. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm sorry. I like them. No, it's not sexual assault. I can't. I couldn't help myself. I, I, I listen. Love- I really like them. <laughs> I really like them, and I really want to grab them. <laughs> you should be more considerate. You should be more considerate. Oh, you don't want your boobs grabbed. Well, what about my needs? <laughs> right. I like grabbing boobs. And so I, well, I guess I just have to push it down <laughs> and suffer because of your selfish. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. It's fucking crazy. That's a weird flip and so dumb. That's just like, I don't, I, sorry, self, self restraint is annoying. So I choose not to engage in it. Well, then you're a fucking asshole. Mm-hmm. Oh. Just don't pet the dog. Don't pet the fucking dog, lady. <laughs> it's like something you have to explain to a toddler. 
Not right. a grown woman. No, no, that's a service dog. You cannot like because I, right. I didn't say it to my kids. Like, oh, yep. they just want to pet the dog. And you're like, no, 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 can't stop it. And, and good choice on Scott to just walk away mm -hmm. rather than engage. I've tried to get better at that as I've gone on later in life, just accepting that like you can't reason with an unreasonable person. Right. And if somebody sees do not pet pets anyway, then you confront them, tell them not to, then they try to explain how they just can't help themselves, mm -hmm. walk away. Right. Because that person is just a fucking ridiculous asshole who is not going to listen to any reasonable thing you have to say. Never will. Nope. They will not change They're for a lost you. cause. And in a way, I, we saw a picture of Maddie, so I know it's yeah. not a, probably not a killer. Yeah. But I also wish that he was like, psycho. And just jump. Like, psycho. Right. Bite her neck. That'd be great if there was like a loophole in the law where if you antagonize a service dog, if you and pet it, a service dog, it, it, it and it attacks you. you, whatever happens happens, <laughs> and he secretly trains it, and then just like a whisper come in, just kill her, get it, kill her, kill her. Kill her. like cool whistle, I can't do it, yeah, <laughs> just like a little, <laughs> <laughs> little dash run, just fucking grabs her by the jugular. <laughs> certain, uh, certain whistle means like neck or arm or leg. <laughs> Good girl, Maddie. Uh, <laughs> all right, yeah. So that was that was fun. Dumb in the wild. Good. First I like listener. it. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. it. Uh, you can send those in again. Dumb at iswedumb dot com. It is time for the next segment. Okay. Roll it. Dumb. 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 Idiot. Happy birthday, Zach. Happy birthday. Huh? I don't know. I just want to talk to you for a second. Oh, it's it, nice to talk to you. It's too. not his birthday. Hello. And I was going along with it, and then in my head, I was like, Oh no, I forgot his birthday. <laughs> I was like, presents? I'm getting presents tonight? All right. No, I, guess I just pictured you out there. I just want to talk to you for a second. So this first story is uh, was sent in by Dummy Austin. A okay. Florida man arrested for his I eat ass sticker <laughs> <laughs> might sue the sheriff's office. So here's a picture of the guy. Oh, that's pretty uh, big. That's bold. Uh, yep, on his uh, you know rear pickup or rear yeah pickup mm -hmm. window, just big old white letters <laughs> on a tinted backdrop right. of "I eat ass." White on black, very clearable. Are mm -hmm. clearable? Fuck me. Very easily yeah, readable. It. it is clear. <laughs> a Florida man <laughs> arrested this week for refusing to remove a sticker on his pickup truck, proclaiming that he eats ass will not be prosecuted. <laughs> officials said Thursday. Now the man is threatening to sue the sheriff's <laughs> office for violating his First Amendment rights. So Dylan Shane Webb, 23, was stopped Sunday on a highway in Lake City, west of Jacksonville, by the Columbian County Sheriff's deputy who saw a sticker on his rear window that read, I eat ass. Right. He's just being honest, probably. Yeah. So the dash, ass. Dash, cam, or dash cam footage that we're not going to watch shows that the deputy was telling Webb that the reason he was pulled over was his derogatory sticker on the back of his truck. How is that derogatory, Webb asks? How is it not derogatory? The deputy responds, some 10-year-old little kid sitting in the passenger seat of his mama's vehicle looks over and sees, I eat ass, and asks his mom what it means. Uh, how, how is she going to explain that? That's the parent's <laughs> job, not my job. He's got a point there. Webb responded. He's got a point. So it goes on. They're going to drop the case. They looked at other previous cases like this and basically said uh, he does. Ha it is covered under his First Amendment right to do something like this. So they're not going to do it. And then doesn't say, I mean, he might sue him. But right. uh, the, the moral of the story is. I think that there's dumb on both sides of, of the line on this one. Okay. One is, yeah, it's the parent's job, but I don't ever have to explain to my kid yeah. at, at fucking six what yeah. eating ass is. Right. And I shouldn't have to. Right. And I did not put them in a position where they had to learn that day what eating ass was. Right. Until your car, your truck drove by. You didn't take them to the uh, adult <laughs> video arcade. No. I my My son, Ezra, and my daughter, Pepper... Do not right. know what eating ass... They should not know what eating ass is yeah. until later. Right. They will find out. I don't want to tell them right then. So him being like, that's yeah. the parent's job. It's like, yeah, yeah fuck, I guess. Oh, I, he forced my hand. I think what he's doing, is he's, he's a huge douchebag. Right. But I don't think it should, I don't think it should be illegal to do that mm -hmm. just because of the slippery slope. I 100% agree. Because then I think about, like, he's like, the officer talking about derogatory. I just think about all the, um, as silly as it is, the little Calvin uh, stickers. Oh, yeah. Where Calvin's him. taking a piss on, like, a Chevy mm -hmm. or a Ford. And then going further, like, this this last election, you know, like, a lot of, like, political things that were, like, hyper-aggressive mm -hmm. towards, you know, one side or whatever, where it's just like, you know, fuck, fuck this side. Right. And I'm like, well, that's pretty derogatory. So it's like... It's just that that just like to enforce that seems insane where it's mm -hmm. like, where do you draw the line? But, but again, that being said, on just a pure, like decent person level, oh, that guy's a fucking huge asshole. Yeah. I saw a truck down here uh, in Coeur d'Alene yeah. a while back. I can't remember. Probably a year ago. It's just giant truck. Yeah. And on the back of it, it just said, I have a tiny dick. 
Like was the window like on the back of the like, same same thing with the eye. Right, ass. right. Just right. like I have a tiny dick. Hilarious. And that that was funny. Yeah, yep, <laughs> yep. And I had didn't have to and it was probably if but if my kids read it and yeah. I had to I mean, Pepper would know what it was. I, but in I, that case it's like still funny. Like I yeah. ass. There's nothing yeah. that I can really say like, hey, well, sometimes when a man loves a woman or a man yeah. loves a man or a woman loves a woman, they uh, lick each other's poopers. <laughs> right, right. Uh, what? Hmm, I don't know. I, Love's weird, bro. <laughs> I got reamed once on social media. This was years ago. This was like, I, I posted, I was in Tacoma, Washington at a diner. I was by myself uh, the, and there was, uh, but there was families around and there was these two, I would guess college age girls sitting there talking about very explicitly their recent sex capades. Mm. And and the one girl was talking about like anal, like very, but like not trying to be quiet on any level, like a loud car. <laughs> and I, and I uh, took a, probably too far to take the picture. I took a picture of her mm. and I was just like, hey, if anybody um, knows uh, this person, maybe come get your friend out of the diner uh, so she doesn't keep talking about uh, anal sex in front of children. <laughs> right. so like, and the, the, the comment section was decidedly against me for quote, like quote unquote slut shaming. Sure. And I was like, no, no, no. no. That's and not then what I was, I was yeah, I was like yeah. trying Probably should probably should have blurred out her face looking back. <laughs> uh, but the point I was making is like, oh yeah, t- I don't fucking care if she has a thousand dicks in her ass at one time. <laughs> Whatever she wants to do, I don't care. <laughs> right? If you can pull that don't, off, more dicks in yeah, there the better. You are super athletic, <laughs> but like, don't care. About, so are the guys. <laughs> so are the guys. What, are they, what arrangement of that? What? what? Little- like how are they standing? Twirl. Right. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> right, it's a right. beautiful, beautiful situation. Now I'm fixing this weird Cirque du Soleil <laughs> kind of exhibition. I look like a Chinese fan, <laughs> but it's just like dicks and right. men around the ass. It's like, right. right. <laughs> but my, the point I was trying to make is it's like, but it's just super shitty to do that in front of kids who can hear you. Just poor taste, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, but like, but I've had that thing, you know, I've seen people with like t-shirts and things that say super explicit things. And then the kids see him and like have questions. Unfortunately, the, one of the downsides of freedom <laughs> is that, you know, when you take your kids out into a very free world, they're going to see some shit <laughs> from time to time. And you're just going to have to talk to them about it, whether they're ready for it or not. Right. You know? I mean, I guess it's kind of the fun of the world. Right. Right. <laughs> Let's go out today and see if I have to tell my kids about eating ass. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Check it off. Okay. <laughs> Did this today. Didn't but I've want had, to. I, I've had to explain. I mean, when Ky- when the kids, when we first moved down to Santa Monica and Kyler Monroe came down there, Kyler must have only, it was not too long after we were down there. I think he was like five or six. Okay. And we're walking across the street and this uh, obviously, I think mentally ill pr- with also probably a lot of drugs in the system. Hmm. Dude came storming, it's a like good combo, storming across the street, just like yelling, like "fuck him, fuck him all, kill him!" like like crazy aggressive shit. And Kyder like jumped back. He was like scared. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, he was like, "Daddy, why was that guy doing that?" <laughs> and I was like, "Well, mental illness, mm-hmm. probably a lot of hardcore drug abuse." And we had to have a whole talk about how some people's brains don't have the same chemicals, and some uh-huh. people made a series of poor choices. Uh, you know, maybe outside of mental illness and got into a lot of drugs and get to a place where they just don't care about the world and it was like uncomfortable but i'm like well that's just you know what i wish i could have had this conversation a little later right. you're a little older but it is what it is you'll probably you'll have to have it again right, that's right. what that's what that's right. going too soon and then you have to do it again right <laughs> uh, um all right well you want to move on to the to the next story here yes but i'm with you okay both sides yeah i i just things I, you wish that you just didn't even have to right. bring it up it's like, how about just don't have a gigantic I eat ass sticker? Right. Don't have a giant I eat it. Just don't. How <laughs> eat? Just don't. Just don't. How right. are people supposed to know? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> right. Well, that's how you flirt. Well, first you just like, <laughs> just bag them and then eat their ass. <laughs> like you don't have to like, like publicly say, I do it. Mm-hmm. I'll, I mean, fuck, I do it. Who do you want? <laughs> I'll have yeah. a sticker on the back of my truck. Right. I'll leave a little ass. <laughs> I smell a t-shirt coming. <laughs> I eat ass. <laughs> it's a shirt custom. The person who has the I eat ass sticker also sits in the squeaky chair at the theater <laughs> and doesn't fucking care that squeaks. Right. That's just someone who just doesn't care about same, other people. Same person. Oh. <laughs> Can you imagine when you're, okay, like just having a daughter as well? Mm-hmm. That like, you know, when she's old enough to start dating, the boyfriend shows up with an I eat ass sticker. What do you do? That's how I met him. Oh my God. I, it was love at first fucking sticker. God. Like that, I mean, if it worked out and he's actually a great guy and they got okay, married. Yeah. That, yeah, that's it. What, <laughs> but, if he's, what if he seems like a great guy? Chances are, he won't be. Probably, probably won't be. What if he seems like a great guy, but then you're like, oh man, I like, I like this guy. And then you just see his truck outside, I eat ass. Like, <laughs> uh, in the article, it does say that the officer tried to take, like, try to get him to take one S off the sticker. So I eat ass. As? 
And he's I like, love you trying to bargain with him. <laughs> Listen, it's not illegal. Right. But please. Oh, come on. Come on. It's pretty fuck up. I'll give you a Starbucks gift card. He's like, I eat ass. It doesn't even, doesn't even make any sense. I eat ass. I eat ass. Not ass. <laughs> right. It changes the whole thing. Fuck you. I tried. <laughs> All right. Well, our next story hmm? uh, has to do with firefighters and a house and not paying a fee. Okay. You ready for this? Yeah. yeah. This did happen a while ago. The article is from October 5th back in 2010. So firefighters <laughs> in rural Tennessee let a home burn to the ground last week because the homeowner hadn't paid the $75 fee. Gene uh. Kranick of Avion County and his family lost all of their possessions in the September 29th fire along with three dogs and a cat. Oh. They could have been saved if they had put water on it, but they didn't do it. Kranick told M- uh, MSN or MSNBC's Keith Olbermann, the fire started when the Kranick's grandson was burning trash near the family home. As it grew out of control, the Kranick's called 911, but the fire department from the nearby city of South Fulton would not respond. He wasn't on their list, <laughs> he said uh, <laughs> He said the operators told him. So Kranick, who lives outside the city limits, admits he forgot to pay the annual $75 fee. The county does not have a countywide firefighting service, but South Fulton officers, uh, they offer fire coverage to rural residents for a fee. Kranick says he told the operator he would pay whatever was necessary to put the fire out. His offer wasn't accepted. <laughs> the fire fee policy dates back 20 years or so. Anybody that's not inside the city limits in South Fulton, it's a service we offer. Either they accept it or they don't, said South Fulton Mayor David Crocker. So the fire department's decision to let the home burn was incredibly irresponsible, said the president <laughs> of an association representing firefighters. But, you know, it just goes on. On yeah. and on. They basically said, hey, no, you didn't You didn't pay. We're not going to put that fire out. I mean, that this is a tough one. This is another mm-hmm. one where there's uh, things on both sides. Right. My, the, the correlation that my brain paints is like OnStar in your car. Right. Like, if you don't pay it, and then you get in a fucking accident, you can't be like, God damn it. Okay, just whatever right. it takes. Whatever it takes. I'm sorry. Right. I mean, can you push it and then they just charge you a big fee? I don't know that, but it's like it's like the yeah, like exactly, just like that. Like they're like, no, you didn't. Yep. Pay, you didn't pay for satellite radio. You don't just get satellite radio right now. I think I think of like the extended warranty they always offer on like huge uh, electronics items. Yeah. And I picture like you're just like, nah, that's okay. I don't want to pay the two hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. And then you know, a year and a half later, your com- your laptop or your giant fucking flat screen TV breaks. You're like, <laughs> hey, 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 guys, I was I was kind of hoping to buy that extended warranty now. <laughs> hey, do you still are you still offering that two hundred dollar warranty? Oh, you're not. I didn't get replaced the entire TV myself. Damn it, please, oh, I'll, I'll, come whatever on. it costs, whatever it costs, I, I'll pay it. <laughs> right. I'm gonna pay the same amount. <laughs> but if I was on that one of those firefighters, right. I would not be. I would me personally, you would have. I wouldn't have been able to not do it. I would have well, had to, especially if you're hearing. If you knew that there's pets in there, I couldn't let just let the pets die. I know. But I mean, it, <laughs> but he didn't pay the fee. But being really honest, let's say okay. Let me just add some details that weren't included in the article. Okay, this is a rural area. You know, it's like kind of like a volunteer firefighter situation. It feels like almost. Mm. Uh, well, I guess it is some some version of volunteer fire. There's a decent chance maybe one of these guys know. I, I feel like there's more of a story here. Right. What if they knew this family? This family just fucking you know knows that they know about this uh, fee. They don't pay it. They're just kind of known for just being dirtbags in the area. Right. You show up. This fucking dirtbag's house is on fire because of his garbage, which does really paint a picture there. The garbage was out of control, burning, and it catches the house. And they're just like, nah, fuck them. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Like there, there was a part of me if it was somebody I really didn't like. If I knew about the pets, I'm with you. But if but if I if there was no pets and I'm like this is an asshole who never um, tries to help out never donates any money towards anything in the community mm-hmm. and then I'm one of those volunteer firefighters and I don't have to put his house out nah <laughs> I'm gonna pass right. I mean there would be something uh, satisfying yeah. and, and just being like ah sorry buddy should have paid that's why you're supposed to fucking plan better in life because <laughs> your house is gonna burn <laughs> look at it pretty cool though. look at it. Look at that. Whoa. Like, you hear that crackling noise? That's probably like your, your bed frame. <laughs> I got some marshmallows. Uh, do you want to make some s'mores? Right. I mean, you know, lemons and lemonade, you know? I, I guess I don't need these gloves anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It feels like summer oh. out here. <laughs> but if he honest, but if he's a decent dude, he just happened to forget, that's so tragic. Yeah. It's like, but, oh, man. I, it, I, su- I honestly forgot. Super old man. Like, what, what, like, what would I be? I know. I don't know. But anyway, so I looked at both, <sighs> just looking at the story, mm-hmm. it just felt like, yeah, I'm on the side that's like, if you don't pay the fee, you can't just all of a sudden expect, you know, because, to, to then get no the treatment. Because then no one would pay it. Because no yeah. one would pay the fee anymore, and then you wouldn't have a fire department. That's yeah, they'd the thing. just pay later. Like, like, oh, no, like I need you now. Right. I'll pay now. for right. 75 bucks. Yep. If everybody takes the policy of like, no, we'll just get you when we need you, mm-hmm. there's not that many fire. Well, then you don't have a fire department for anybody. Mm-hmm. 
So, I mean, there is an argument to like, I mean, I, I bet you after this fucking house burns down, everybody else in that area is like, shit, are we fucking current? I'll go 150. I'll go 150. I'll go 225 <laughs> to get triple coverage if my house happens to burn down. I will pay $10,000. On I mean. One of you has to sleep with me. Sleep <laughs> in the house with me <laughs> right. with a big hose. I, I am curious if their uh, pledges went way up after that. Oh, maybe. Where a lot of people are like, holy shit. That's fucking brutal, Like, they're bro. serious. Yeah. Like, they will not put out our house Man, if let, we haven't paid that. They will let everything burn and let my pets die. <laughs> they will let our fucking dogs burn to death. And make sure to pay that 75 bucks next year. I mean, I, I can say that if I'm living in that area and I read that, the first thing I'm doing is like, are we current? I'm checking my records. I'm calling. Hey, we're, we're, we're current, right? We're cool, right? Are we in the list? We're, we're good, right? We're, friend, we're friendly? I'll come down. Listen, I'll bring you some donuts. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'll pay cash. What's your favorite kind of pizza? Yeah, what do you what, what do you like? Gift cards. Do you have enough water down there? <laughs> hey, how do you how are your shoulders? Are you tense? I can I'm a decent masseuse. <laughs> just I'll go down and rub your shoulders. You get like a pimp my ride, but it's just for fire trucks now. <laughs> like they have they just baller all because of you, you got sick ass spinner rims. <laughs> Everything's murked out. Just yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know, save my house because it's on fire, right? Right. You, you might go remember this. A nice guy. Oh. Uh, Zach, That's you're going to say story. something. What were you going to say? Should have charged him five bucks a pet. Oh, oh, I see. Jerry, five bucks. Oh, yeah. He's on the side. Oh, my God. He's, he's the mediator between the firefighter and the <laughs> guy's ha- whose house is burning. He's like, just tell him I'll pay. He's like, five bucks. I don't have it right now. Then fuck you. There's the fire department with their huge truck and all their capabilities. And then there's Jerry with just a bucket <laughs> and like a kiddie pool full of water. <laughs> like, Come on, let me pay the seventy-five bucks. And like, no, nah, we can't. It's too late. And then Jerry's like, five bucks. <laughs> He's got I'll a, splash some water. Like in one house. of those beach ones with the little tiny plastic shovel, right. the kids thing. It's like, I'll flick some water in your house. Five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> it's not helping. Five, five more. Come bucks. on, five bucks. I got bigger buckets. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, five bucks. I'll get a bigger bucket. <laughs> All right, but then uh, not the dumbest thing. Yeah, let's go to the dumbest thing. Okay, roll it. And I just want to say with this one mm-hmm. is that it doesn't matter what party did this. Oh, okay. I don't care if it's blue, red, whoever the fuck is right. in office, it doesn't matter. It's just This a- just happened to happen when Trump was in office. Okay. But it, it would have been really stupid regardless of who was in there. Okay. Um, so this goes back to, you know, kind of following up on the, you know, the Paycheck Protection Program, the PPP. The PPP, yeah. Yeah, so they were giving out money to small businesses and organizations to help them out when COVID hit. Right. So five prominent anti-vaccine organizations <laughs> that have been known to spread misleading information uh, about the coronavirus received more than eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars in loans. Oh my God! From the federal payback protection program, raising questions about why the government is giving money to wow. groups actively opposing its agenda <laughs> and seeking to undermine public health during a critical period. So the groups <laughs> that receive it goes through the groups. No, no one cares who they are. Uh, right. but, but several of the Facebook pages of these organizations have been penalized by the social network, including being prohibited from buying advertising for pushing misinformation wow. about the coronavirus. Um, you know, vaccines are largely considered safe and effective. Clinical trials for those made by uh, Moderna and Pfizer did not raise serious safety concerns, but many Americans hold skeptical attitudes about vaccination, uh, attitudes that the public health experts have said are attributed to, in part to the misinformation that is being spread uh, by these organizations. This is a pretty hilarious fuck up. <laughs> $850,000 that the government is giving to uh, organizations directly opposed to important government agendas. <laughs> like, it, yeah, it'd be like if they accidentally, I mean, just in this situation, right. uh, just gave like Biden's campaign $850,000. <laughs> right, right. Like ahead of the election, they're like, oh, fuck. Come oops. on. Oh, dang it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be like we do the uh, the monthly donations here at Bad Magic Productions. Yeah. Uh, if, if, you, if you don't, yeah, if you don't know, yeah, we take uh, some, some of our money each month and, and give it to, uh, yeah, various charities. Right. That would be like us giving, uh, you know, our monthly charity donation to a group called Fuck Bad Magic Productions. <laughs> to, a, to a group dedicated to trying to destroy <laughs> That's all business. they do. That's all, that's all they do. <laughs> is they, they just, they use that money to buy ads <laughs> to ask people to not listen to any of our podcasts. That's yeah, strictly it. No other message. <laughs> right. And then we're like, oh yeah, fuck yeah. And just oh. give them like, you know, $15,000 next <laughs> month. What's, 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 uh, what's the worst that could happen? My uh, God, that is a huge. That's a huge screw up. And I, and I know that they are so busy, right? You know, they're they're trying to get uh, they were trying to get that money out in a hurry, right? But but that's a huge mistake. Oh, okay. a giant one. And it does uh, go back to uh, like Joel Olstein, the uh, yeah, you know the, the preacher, prosperity yeah, preacher, prosperity preacher. His Texas his Texas mega church uh-huh. uh, got four point four million dollars in PPP in PPP relief. He's so rich. He doesn't need that. He should have just prayed harder. 
if he was right, really hurt that right. hard. And and did his business actually suffer? I mean, there's it, no way. There's no way because it's tied. His house is the Donations. size of my entire neighborhood. Like right. He's, there's got to be a little wiggle room somewhere. He's so wealthy. <laughs> That's insane. I know. And. and Ah oh, man, I I hope he took that money yep. and just gave the entire chunk to his congregation to charity. If he didn't, he is a oh, fake motherfucker. I'm going if, with, if he's not already. Uh, just according to the internet, that's terrible. It does say that he's worth forty million. Forty million. So good thing he got that four point four. There's just no way because it's like like his congregation. It's not like they're going to stop tithing because of COVID. <laughs> you know, they're going to he he can broadcast it. I'm sure he kept broadcasting it. I'm speculating here, but I, I'm fairly certain he, he, he didn't mess up his production. His social media accounts are on, on fire. He's doing great. Right. He's doing very, very well. That's uh, another and, and I will unfortunate say, oversight. Like, uh, just in the in favor of the government, yeah. they were trying to do a bunch yeah. really, really quick. They can't check every business. And they can't check. But when they found out where it went, guess what they should have done? <laughs> I know. They should have took it back. <laughs> right. <laughs> they should have been like, oh, whoops. whoops. Anyway, next. What a nice lottery just situation to get. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, $4.2 million. Or 4.4. 4. Or 4.4, yeah. yeah. Don't forget My about God. that 200000 <laughs> My God. Just anyway. extra, extra money. Here you go. Yeah, so that shit was Enjoy super it. stupid, wasn't it? That's very stupid. Okay. And I hear that you have more stupid stuff. I got a fun, I got a fun one today for okay. the One Star Heroes. Oh, right, let's do it. I get no respect in real life. Always am upset. So I let them know I hate them. Yeah. Okay, do the thing. Okay, going in a little bit of a different direction today, where I didn't try to find something that was highly rated to begin with. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't even know how I... Well, actually, I, I do know how I got to this place. I was trying to find a place that would rate porn, like rate pornos <laughs> All right. the same the way that Yelp uh, reviews restaurants, <laughs> or that, uh, you know, like Amazon reviews, film, product, whatever. Sure. And like so the I was, rating system, like at the video yeah. play, like, Pornhub. Right, right, exactly. But but most of that stuff is just so, like, Pornhub is just so dumbed down. that It's just not funny. There's so, and, and, but can I just add that there's so many, like, three out of five star porns that are fucking sweet. <laughs> like, who's out there rating these things? Right, who's rating it down? What's your, what's your criteria? Right. Like, this is fucking great. You, you're watching you, way too much porn. What, two two stars? And I watch them like, that's fucking four. <laughs> four minimum. That's you're great. Very, you're watching porn all day long. If you become like a porn rating <laughs> connoisseur, you need, you need to fucking see a therapist. Just nitpicking it? Like, right. Like, dick too shiny. Mm. <laughs> right, just weird stuff that right. shouldn't matter. Nibbles weren't symmetrical. <laughs> Camera work wasn't the best. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Uh, so I tried to find like the most like a porno film I could find on Amazon. All right. And this is not a porn, but it's um, 2012's Lap Dance with Carmen Electra. <laughs> oh, oh, she, goddamn. And that's not her. I don't know who that is. In that's the not her. That's not Carmen Electra. There's no way. No, she, that, there's no way that's her. No. Because she's almost 50 right now. I guess in 2012, she would have been in like uh, early 40s, but that's one of the other stars yeah. of this film. How did I miss this release? Because <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> I, like, look at all the, I haven't seen it, but look at all the, it, it's very, very bad. But okay. of course it is. Yeah, it's right. a 2012 <laughs> Carmen Electra movie <laughs> called Lap Dance. Right. You know? and, and so if I you're going- I didn't see this on the Oscars. That's- <laughs> Oh. And I and I was just thinking, if you're watching this movie on Amazon Prime, that means that you know how to work the internet. Mm. Like you're streaming this, which means you could also go to Pornhub or one of many other porn sites like one and of the for free other billion porn watch sites. so much porn. <laughs> and instead, you're going to Amazon Prime to watch porn, which just is so stupid in and of itself. I picture a guy who he knows how to do all this, but he just doesn't know how to clear his history. <laughs> right. <laughs> He's like, God damn, I gotta find it. It's gotta be in a place that doesn't look suspicious. <laughs> what is this shit? <laughs> <laughs> so so the first one, Drew Corey, one star, not enough heat. <laughs> I kept hearing I kept hearing how awful this movie was, finally watched it myself, had a few brief dances that were okay. Had the smoking hot ladies to bring the heat, but did not. <laughs> not even close. One star. Are Why are you going here? to Amazon Prime to see the heat? <laughs> like Sussy. To find that heat. <laughs> like, just go. You can just Google, like, exotic dancer, new dancing. And I'm sure find literally tens of thousands of videos. <laughs> or go to a strip club. Yeah, go anywhere else. Go, oh my God, not enough heat on Amazon Prime. <laughs> right. So this next one, oh my God, what? One star. You are not going to see her. 
<laughs> Not enough lady parts. Jeez. Don't bother. Electra has pastries or what the fuck ever or what the fuck. Pasties. They are called pasties. Pastries. Uh, <laughs> waste of time for this kind of movie. And here's what's so stupid to me about this one. Carmen Electra was in Playboy four times. <laughs> So if you want to see Carmen Electra naked, it is very easy to do. Guess what I'm going to do right now? You Google Carmen Electra naked. Okay. Carmen. Or Carmen Electra nude or Carmen Electra boobs, whatever you want. And you can find many a picture. And okay. it's like, but no, he went to Amazon Prime. Oh, I got it. Okay, you found it. That's a, it's it's a few seconds. Do not show my screen. I don't want to blur it out. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 look, there you go. <laughs> very easy. I see it. You can't. Okay, I, I saw it earlier. Anyway, keep on reading. I verified it earlier. <laughs> I'll pay attention. I promise. Okay, so this one, this is just a weird one. Uh, I don't know what this person was thinking. Pedrules, one star, was looking for a critique on social issues. Instead, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Was looking for a critique on social issues. Instead, got a by-the-number script. It has unrealistic characters and a story that would only make sense to somebody who has never experienced real life outside of fantasy novels or forums. Why the fuck would you go to Carmen Electra's <laughs> lap dance to watch a movie on a critique of social issues? Like, what... How unfamiliar must you be with Carmen Electra's career <laughs> to look to her for social issue critique? <laughs> this is the lady who's famous. Hard hitting. This is the lady who's famous mostly for dating Dennis Rodman and Dave Navarro, <laughs> right? She was like an MTV VJ, went into like reality TV. Mm -hmm. Never was she known <laughs> to fucking anybody as like social issues. <laughs> That's what Carmen Electra stands for. Justice. Justice. <laughs> I need some justice. Facts. So I just picture somebody just hanging out and be like, God, I'm just really hungry for some social justice. <laughs> Google's, what's Carmen Electra up to? What's she fighting now? Well, what's Carmen what will she fix now? next? <laughs> uh, big things coming. Big things coming. <laughs> Courtesy of Carmen Electra. And this is not a knock on Carmen Electra, but I'm she, sure she's she, great. she could be a great person, but just not publicly known <laughs> as somebody who fights for social justice. And if we're wrong, I mean, we will give you some digging. Maybe we're not. She, what, we, okay. I did some digging. <laughs> she's not like <laughs> saving the world. She hosted a fundraiser once, All according right. to Wikipedia. That's <laughs> <laughs> the most. It's like, okay. I was trying but to. But I don't think that makes her known. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So this next one. Um, <laughs> oh, this one's so weird. C.C. Doyle. This is so weird and sad to me. C.C. Doyle. There's a picture. Like a little, mm -hmm. you know, little uh, middle-aged lady. Uh, stopped watching this early on. One star. My husband watched this for a short while. He says he didn't think it should even earn a star. But no review. Post without one. So I gave it one. Why are you go away? Why are you going onto Amazon to review movies that you didn't watch, but your <laughs> husband watched a little of? It's the weirdest marital like hobby, right? Like he watches, honey, show, get on, get on the pooter. Like he doesn't know how to work it, but he wants to like be mad somewhere. So she's learned how to do it barely, and just waits for his like reviews from the couch. Right, not that good. Can you give it no stars? <laughs> no, no, honey, I gotta give, give it at least one. You gotta leave at least okay, one. Okay, give right. one star. I turned it off. Pretty boring. Okay, I'll let him know. And this just reads so sad to me too, where it's like he watched a little bit. So clearly, I'm I'm guessing strongly that he watched it, wanted to see some titty, <laughs> and then he didn't. And then he's complaining about it to his wife. Uh -huh. And then she goes on. It's just like, my husband, he wanted to get an erection for possible masturbation. Or maybe he would even make love to me for the first time in many years. <laughs> but like, just Once reads, again, really Carmen sad. Electra let me down. Carmen Electra. Like she did when she, on my GoFundMe. I, <laughs> I, ever since Carmen Electra stopped fighting for social justice, I've always been a little <laughs> jaded towards her. But now she won't even help sex in my marriage. She's changed. She's changed. She's changed so much. Uh, Maybe he got caught watching it. He had to come up with some like weird oh, thing. I just oh this, this shit sucks. Turn it off. Someone told me it was this better social justice movie. <laughs> it's too. It's not for me. <laughs> What's it called? Lap dance. <laughs> oh God. Wish I could oh, get one star. I, I don't know how Amazon works. I thought this was tap dance. Nah, I'll do it, honey. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Where's the not enough tap dancing? <laughs> He's forty five minutes in. Oh, you're right. They don't have tap dance shoes. I've been I've been tricked. Oh shit! Oh, they took me for a ride. <laughs> Damn you, Carmen Electra. <laughs> uh, so this next one. <laughs> oh, this this is like a fucking serial killer. Oh Th boy. This is a crazy one. Robert Johnson, one star. Tease. E. Don't call a movie by this title. Then keep the lead fully clothed at all times. <laughs> I hate being teased. That's creepy. Listen, you creepy fuck. <laughs> Get off the internet. Get off the internet, you fucking sociopath. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. Robert Johnson doesn't like being teased. <laughs> never has. Never will. <laughs> yes, this, this guy is. <laughs> this guy's fucking scary. Mm -hmm. This guy's gotten t thrown out of many a strip club. <laughs> well, if our fucking cock teases. We're get out, Robert. 
<laughs> We've called the police <laughs> on you before. We will call them again. Get my sweatpants back. Now get out. We'll I get wish you tomorrow. I wish Amazon could just like somehow give his like credentials to the authorities. <laughs> and I want this guy investigated for some. I don't even know if there is any rape allegations. I'm going to make some. If he does anything wrong and they didn't investigate him, I think that's on them. Fucking right. This guy. See all the signs are there. Uh, I don't really like being teased. No, one well, bit. His childhood was just like nothing but teasing. <laughs> Robert, Robert, Johnson, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like being teased. No, thank you. Uh, this next one. Oh, this is just uh, crazy that all they right. went into this much depth to review this movie. Heather Franklin. Oh, boy. One star. Decent acting. Disappointing story. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the thoughts you put into this review for this movie called Lap Dance by Carmen Electra. Decent acting. Doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. You can tell this is totally written by a man. Dude cheats on girlfriend, hangs around at the club, watching her dance, criticizes her for acting like she enjoys it in order to get money for her dad's cancer treatment, <laughs> gets upset at her for dancing, doesn't believe her, and instead believes people he barely met, goes through her purse, through her purse, and uh, things nearly every day, pushes her, gets upset with her for not wanting to have sex, tells her that she used to be a good girl, now she's a whore, and he gets apologized to. She wants to take him back? This is a love story? Girl, get out. There is nothing healthy going on here. Still, the acting was good, so unfortunately, it was a movie you watched to the end and then thought, why did I do What the <laughs> fuck is this do person that? doing? The amount of times I've, I've, I have had that thought, though. You get to the end, you're like, why did why I, why I just stay here? <laughs> I should have left. Why, I guess I used, why did I have to finish this? I didn't have to finish this. I just picture Heather Franklin like, leaving reviews on so many movies where it's like any movie that's dark <laughs> at all. She's like, I don't understand why they would even stay together. I mean, natural born killers? More like natural born, like, why are you even bothering? Like, why would she go with a guy like that? He's too old for her. He didn't even really love her. He didn't even really love her. Why would they murder innocent people to make a point at her dad? Things do matter. Why did they, it's like, where's it's a the fucking trust? movie, Heather? Right. <laughs> where's, where's the trust in this relationship? Right. Not buying it. Don't fuck, it's a movie. I don't understand how Leaving Las Vegas got any awards. I mean, okay, sure, he's an alcoholic, but he didn't have to drink himself to death. Why did he bring her into it? Why did they show the scene of those guys taking advantage of her in where's, the hotel room? We're all of his friends trying well, to help him and stop yeah. him. This what? isn't anything like real life. <laughs> Where's his parents? Where's the counselors? <laughs> it's a fucking movie, Heather! <laughs> I just picture like Ocean's Eleven. There's no way <laughs> these guys be able to pull this off. These guys are too good looking to really have to delve into a life of crime like this. They could work as actors. They could work as models. I don't understand why this is happening. <laughs> <laughs> she just doesn't understand like the premise of movies right. or just books, anything fictional. Realism out the window, I guess. With these guys, <laughs> okay, I guess it's just it's a fantasy. What is this? Some kind of escapism where people go to sit for two hours to get away from their normal lives? That's what my boyfriend tells me. Ex-boyfriend, another one. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> get out, girl. Just like I said to myself. <laughs> uh, okay so this this one is even weirder this guy i don't know fucking this makes no sense to me but i wanted to include it because it's so ridiculous All he's right. trying to say something bob g one star underlying damage he writes lesbian exhibitionism is popular with enforces of the homosexist religious instance insistence on torturing maiming and murdering male citizens and or felonious enslavement okay. in their divorce racketeering marriage swindle because it <laughs> provides none of what's needed while vacating the finances of its naive customers meanwhile those same enforcers have inflicted object rape condoms on genuine places of worship of hetero religion since 1986 1987 <laughs> i remember one such lesbian exhibitionist establishment just up the road from the legitimate places of worship which went out of business when it couldn't compete with reality prior to the Reagan Bush cop coop whatever I don't even say felony abrogations of article one of the US Constitution amendments to shut uh, what the <laughs> fuck is going and you're, Bob G and by the way you're reading it like this because there's no periods right there's no periods <laughs> it's a brick Bob G if you're listening I want you to get help buddy <laughs> All right. There's a lot of people that are worried about you right now. I like the date range. 1986, 1987. What? <laughs> this guy, and I'm not even like doing this in a making fun of way. Bob G, please take your medicine. <laughs> what? Just for us. Just for us. Mm -hmm. For us and everyone who ever goes on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Or everyone who has to ever interact with you in oh the real God. world. Oh my God. I can't imagine. Bob G, what is going on? <laughs> Two more. They're short ones. All right. I just thought these were really funny. <laughs> This is Quality Hunter, one star. It's not good when you already have a spouse and it disrespects dot, dot, dot. Oh, boy. My husband has decided that he will no longer watch these kinds of movies with all the <laughs> sexual content. It's not good when you already have a spouse and it disrespects her on so many levels to be watching some other women perform. How many fucking places <laughs> ha has this person like left reviews? <laughs> 
just anything that has any sexual content, this person's like, oh, God. Or maybe just like copy and paste. Here's another disrespect. Here's another sexy lady on the TV. <laughs> Somebody else has a pair of boobs. Here's <laughs> okay. All right, bad for my marriage. What a weird thing. Like, we're clearly like the critique should be directed at their relationship. Mm -hmm. Like, no, this is some shit you're working on with your husband. Uh -huh. Don't take it out on lap dance. <laughs> right? This is between you and him. It, and, a, and, a, a, and a marital counselor. It is counselor. A, a sad fight. It's a sad fight. I don't think it's going to end well for you guys, no. but I guess we'll find out. That review was left in 2016. Uh, what? 75% chance they've been divorced since? Oh, 90. 90% chance. <laughs> That's a tough one to be in. Things weren't going well for Quality Hunter. Anybody else that has any asset that she has is a threat. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, my God. And I've... That is such a terrible thing to uh, to be with somebody who's super insecure and jealous. Yeah. That just will eat you alive in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Like, Lindsay and I uh, are very comfortable about whatever. She can talk about her dating past. She can talk about, like, that guy's fucking hot. I don't care. <laughs> like, because... And I've dated somebody who is super possessive and jealous. Oh, it's, man, that was rough. It sucks. It sucks. Because, mm -hmm. like, anything, you just, like, happen to be looking somewhere. Oh, what? Are you looking at what? The brunette? What is she's... She's uh, got a nice ass? She's got a nice ass? Why, you don't like my ass anymore? I, I, don't, I don't even like asses. <laughs> like, you have to <laughs> respond. No, I hate... I don't like asses. I no, hate asses. I hate her. I, I was just trying to kill her. What? <laughs> Maybe that's how the guy from earlier got to that sticker place. Mm. Maybe he was with somebody who just wouldn't let him be himself. And he <laughs> I want to eat ass, baby. No, no, no. No, 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 you don't. And he just pushed it down, pushed and then we finally broke up with her. That's the first thing he did. He fucking got that big sticker. I eat ass. Always I, have. Always have. Always will. I don't fucking care. Who knows it? We eat cops. God damn it. God damn it. I just got this relationship. Excuse me, sir. We eat my ass? <laughs> that's why I'm not a police officer. Because that's what I would have done. Excuse me, sir. Just pulled you over. Do you, do you know why I pulled you over today? Why? Why is that? I haven't pull, had my ass eaten in quite 15 minutes. Pull your pants down. <laughs> shove your ass back. Go for it, bud. <laughs> have a good day. <laughs> your last on day on the job. Do, do, do. You know why I pulled you over? <laughs> this fucking ass isn't going to eat itself. <laughs> right. Come on. Come here, baby. Get, a, get over here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last one. This is kind of a joke you were making earlier, but somebody really experienced this. Mm. Uh, Joni writes, uh, one star, in all fairness, it is not my kind of movie. Uh -huh. And then she writes, I didn't have my glasses on when I chose it. <laughs> <laughs> and I originally read it as Last Dance. <laughs> Sorry, my error. <laughs> then why are you leaving it a one star review? Just go on with your life. She's silly. A ah, goose. She's a goose. I wonder how long she watched it. <laughs> Last <laughs> Dance. Well, mm. there's a lot of dancing. <laughs> it's just, I mean, not very good. Acting's pretty good. <laughs> What is this? Why are they always dancing by themselves? If they say last dance, but they just keep on dancing. <laughs> <laughs> How many last dances are there? Goddamn. Just like super close to the screen. Oh, <laughs> is this the last dance? No, it's not. Second to last dance. Oh, man. That's pretty funny. That, that, was a, that was a good twist. That was, yeah, yeah. I think that was, a, that was a fun one. That's a lot of dumb. Let's look at good. Let's look at some good. And this one let's is clean really good. Zacky Poo. Sliver of Hope. This one sent in by Dummy Joe. Not me, I Not know. <laughs> I say it every time, but we have so many Joe <laughs> listeners, it's fucking crazy. <laughs> Grad student raises $30,000 for charity dropping free pizzas out of his second floor window. What? Mm hmm. So during the pandemic, plenty of people have used baking or other culinary hobbies to pass the time. A grad student in Philadelphia specifically turned his focus to pizza, uh, but not content with firing up pies for his own consumption. He's been literally lowering, lowering free pizzas from the second floor apartment with a simple request that the beneficiaries donate money for charity, and he's raised over $30,000 wow. in the process. So well, that's a good looking pizza slice. I know. He made too. Yeah. Uh, good pizza, Philly, PHL, uh, isn't an actual pizzeria. It's just 27 year old University of Pennsylvania MBA student Ben Berman and his Instagram account. Uh, but the pizzas he's made in his one bedroom apartment and the money he's raised are very, very real. So it started off with him just hmm. basically learning how to cook pizza to have friends yeah. come over and enjoy it. And the pandemic hit and then yeah. he had a bunch of extra pizza. So he decided, he's like, well, I don't have to do with these. So the people that were coming over anyway, yeah. he just gave them the pizzas out of his window because they couldn't see each other anymore. And that just kind of like sparked the whole thing. He's like, wow, there's something here. Yeah. And his Instagram account went from yeah, virtually nothing mm -hmm. to basically having over 17,000 Instagram followers and raising a bunch of money. And he just, you know, That's so he, cool. he's still doing it. Just a neat little thing. I'm glad that I could see some dickhead coming along. Like the, yeah. I mean, I guess there's rules for a reason, but like the, uh, like food safety. Oh, uh, trying to like, shut it down. Yeah, you don't have the you license. Have food handling permit. <laughs> right. I'm doing it for charity, which I kind of get. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, he yeah, basically drops it down. He has a note in it, and then they just decide uh, how much they're going to pay for charity. 
Okay. And that's how he's raised a bunch of money. Cool. And hopefully uh, keeping a little bit of it so he can yeah. keep on doing it and, you know, uh, bettering his life in the process. So Ah, uh, that's great. Yeah. That's a, good, that, that's a very good one. Yeah. Taking a twist on just, you know, mm-hmm. on a terrible situation. Yeah. Probably trapped and lonely. <laughs> right. His one bedroom place, you know, it's just a student and, uh, and doing something great. What's his name? Oh, fuck. Ben Berman. Ben Berman. Yeah. Yay, Ben Berman. Go Benny! Go Benny! Uh, we have a crazy to you from internet that we were kicking around in the office. I'm, I'm so excited to talk about this. And I can't wait to show it to our listeners. Let's roll it. The internet has all sorts of neat things. Anything you want can be yours. Let's take a peek together as a couple to you from internet. So there's a company called yeah. Neon, mm-hmm. and they are creating the most insane AI that I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Like I, at computer graphics, they yeah. get better and better. That's no secret. Yeah. Uh, but they have now gotten to a point where I, who have a, I feel, I kind of, I mean, I would say that I have a very trained eye on real and fake, just kind of being in that tech and graphics world. Yeah. I'm yeah. always watching it. I can pick apart, you know, between CG and uh, CGI and not CGI. Right, right. And like fucking green screen. And then when something's like animated, uh, like I'm always like, I, I, I got it. Yeah, and yeah. He, then I, this came along and I'm like, I have no fucking idea. Yeah, th- this weirded me out. So we're just going to play a little bit. Again, we will link it in the episode description so you can see it for yourself. But this is insane. We're fucked. Oh my yeah. God. Look at these people. They look like ordinary humans, right? That is well, so crazy. We are that fucked. They're computer generated images, graphics, models that are animated by an Look algorithm. at that. Welcome to the future. What? They weren't kidding when they said Neon is an artificial human. These Neon promo videos were hidden in the source code of the official Neon website. Whoa. Huge shout out to MTXJ, aka Go431. So it goes for. I don't it, think these it says, are just people being. So again, you have to really see what? this yeah. to, to understand how realistic it looks like it's just a person. Mm-hmm. And they were digging around, and a lot of these are mapped off of real people. So they bring them in, they will scan them, yeah. and then they will go back and apply you know, their AI yeah. and, and their code and, and animate them. It's just crazy that the movements, like, uh, if you do look this up, or I guess if you don't, just to let us describe it for you, yeah, it's just uh, when I have looked at, well, like in video games and stuff, when they're trying to make it more and more realistic, right? The eyes always ruin it for me, and especially the mouth. Like the, there, there's so many muscles that have to work to, in conjunction for us to speak, yeah. And, and it's I don't know, just uh, all those slight movements. Whenever I see uh, CGI. You know, kind of mouth movements. It always reads a little fake to me. Yeah, you can always see it. Mm-hmm. And 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 then just like subtle body movements. Like uh, sometimes they can get like the gait of a walk down. Right. But if somebody's just kind of standing there hanging out, if you watch them long enough, if it's computer, you're like, oh, that's just not natural. Like your brain just kind of like it just doesn't feel right. These I legitimately thought when you were showing me the video that that was the real people and then they were going to show me like the fake people. <laughs> yeah. And I just could, it, it took me like two minutes for my brain to accept that those weren't real people. Yeah. The texture, the hair, the movements right. are really very human-like. Very human-like. They're not human-like. perfect. They're not going in one spot. Like it's just the whole, mm-hmm. whole thing's being acted out and it looks like they're subtle 100% neck, real. Yeah, subtle neck and shoulder movements, mm-hmm. like the way people speak and stuff. And then when you see this video, it's like these digital avatars are all standing in like what what looks like almost like a green screen space, but it's gray. So there's no colors to distract you. And it's just like, it looks like a bunch of people standing next to each other, mm-hmm. but it's not. It's just code. But that is fucking mind-blowing and the uh how they can implement this like think about a news yeah. anchor if and a news the voices, anchor, that's nothing the oh, voices yeah. the voices sound perfect yeah like just like them talking i mean they're tracking mm-hmm. that and a problem i'm guessing at the moment really tying it to what is recorded like it's not being created on the fly right like it's being rendered to say what they want sure, to say sure but it does look really real is was there an, and if there's not whatever was there a, a clip from this video where there's just one of them isolated speaking yeah so we can hear that voice because that blew me away too i'm like how okay is this not a real human being here you go at least some of them oh sorry because but this is the that's the narrator yeah reporter. Membership to all, right, so Chelsea Militano. So, all right so chelsea militano okay now let's start. so she says her name and yeah, then they go down. and they find her on mm, instagram yep. and it does that's show her lady. And, this and they is also scanned her in. Voice. But I don't think so these real videos voice. are just people being oh, filmed with the, by cameras. That wouldn't make any sense. But what her. would this have to do with artificial humans, right? That trainer looks unbelievable. They do yeah, go the through. Mus- they do go through uh, and nitpick some of this stuff, which made me laugh. Like they'll wave it, their hands, and somebody froze it at the exact time that shows a pinky go through a pinky. 
Oh, uh, okay. Like, like a little bit of a yeah, glitch. They, yeah, just a little bit of a glitch. You never would have noticed, but they did catch it. And, and you and I were talking where I always just think like, okay, this is what we were being shown now publicly, mm-hmm. but some, you know, private or whatever, whatever tech company that's just working on unveiling their next generation stuff, but don't want to release it too early because they don't want, you know, intellectual property to be stolen, you know, whatever. Yeah. I just think if this is what we're seeing now, what's being developed? Like, what is some group of developers watching in beta mode? That's even fucking crazier than that. Uh-huh. And so, I mean, really, probably like right now, there is some artificial intelligence avatar that most people could not detect apart from a human being. Mm-hmm. And then I just, and then my brain, of course, goes to like, what about a year from now, two years from now, five years from now? And then you combine this with robotics. I mean, I've seen some Boston Dynamics shit that just is, we've talked about that yeah. before too, mind blowing. Mm-hmm. And, and they're able to get these robots to kind of mimic a human gait a little better, a little better. It is going to be fucking Westworld before we know it. <laughs> Can't wait. Can't wait. Everybody gets leaving my family. <laughs> Just JK. Ha ha. Where's the clown? Everyone gets a Dolores. <laughs> Sex robots. Sex robots. Yeah, that'll be a crazy <laughs> world. But jobs that there'll be personalities and there already are. Yeah. But they're not trying to be real per se. Like in the music world, there's entire bands that are just like are AI, AI characters. And then people write music and then they release songs. But there's no actual people. Like the lead singer is an avatar. What? And like there's whole bands and they're fucking wildly popular and successful. But 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 somebody's really recording the music, right? Like a real human? Yeah. Okay. But like, eventually but... they have programs where they like the AI can write a whole musical piece. How and weird is that going to be? I know. And then you have, uh, like I was getting at earlier, like news reporters. Yeah. Uh, news stations could oh basically just have something that is rendered what they're going to say for the evening news that night. Oh, that's going to happen. And then they don't need to, they just make them look exactly how they want. They get no sick days. They're always going to be pumped to be there. They're bringing Walter Cronkite back. Right. So, I mean, all of these all of these jobs that you can be replaced by that. Yeah. Uh, in the personality world, totally could. A talk show where you just, you know, the host is just, wow. you know, because they, they have time to not to think on the fly. I, I, was, I was thinking about that whole thing for like local news where the newscasters aren't really ever giving their opinions or very rarely anyway. And you can still, just, you could write that in too. Mm-hmm. They can have their own right. opinions, yeah. But they're, but they're they're just you know reading from a teleprompter and they're just you know giving quick hits on stories in between like the national news breaks. Uh-huh. Just cost effectiveness. I feel like it's a matter of time. Yeah, me too. There's they, just going to be avatars just doing the local news, podcasting. Oh, I bet man. you there'll be AI little podcast people that just talk. Wow. And are programmed and just bounce yeah. back and forth like we're doing right now. Ugh. We don't even exist, and then you get attached to them. Right. And that's that whole blurring the line between... And the avatar pronounces everything perfectly. <laughs> Just and, like us. And they <laughs> and they never breathe into the mic. And they never burp. <laughs> and they never <laughs> fidget in their chairs. They're never tired. They oh never have to go God. to the bathroom. They never uh, sip their water and it comes through the microphone. How can we compete? We can't. We have to join them. <laughs> we have to join them. We have AI us with real us. We have to go full lawnmower, man. We have to fucking get inside the system. We just unplug it. Like if they're pissing us off, like, man, just unplug it. Mm. Then we're back. We're back. We're back. Can't unplug us, right? <laughs> There's going to be so many weird like movements in the future. There'll be like this big, like it'll be the new shiny toy, the robots, and then people will be freaked out by the, the pendulum will swing back the other way and people are like, no, 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 I don't want anything to do with digital. Uh-huh. I want real, real, real. Oh, man. The and future's going to get so weird. And I might be wrong because I am pulling this off the top of my head, but I do believe the company that created Deepfake, yeah. uh, the, what, like the f- very first versions of this, and we saw it go around... Uh, over the last handful of years where they take a celebrity yeah. and they basically throw it over a, a different face or whatever it is or over their own body, but it's completely rendered and it looks pretty real. Right. Not as real as this AI shit, but deep fake, they uh. knew what they made and people that worked for that company uh, immediately started working on software that can detect its own shit. Because yeah. they, they're like, oh no, this is danger. But danger! And then they, right? they, they can pick out Too little late, tiny though. things and then they can lay it over it and be like, okay, this is a deep fake because this. They, so it'll be an endless uh, chess game between outsmarting the detection. But that's for like the smarter people. I, I just think about like conspiracy theories that are oh, rampant yeah. now. Of course, of course they're hiding it. Why wouldn't We're they? Fucked. Yeah. Right, right. Like, like, like the, if people are believing in QAnon without any kind of deep, deep fake stuff, mm-hmm. once you throw that shit into the mix, like the, the kind of person who's going to fall for QAnon or Lizard Illuminati or whatever like that now, that person is never going to like, well, let me get my deep fake technology. They're never going to trust that. <laughs> let me apply this. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, they'll panic button oh, out the gate. Oh, wow. Yay. What a, what an interesting future we have coming up. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the dice. What could be worse? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's hear from some of our listeners before we say goodbye today. Okay. You want to do that? Yeah. Junk mail. Roll! It's 
junk mail. Just before you get into it, I have something I want to say to the AI developers before they take it any further. Yeah? Guys and gals, mm-hmm. just don't. Mm. Just don't. Look at what you're doing. Just look at what you're doing and just think about maybe just don't. Mm-hmm. Just doning. Just, do- just doning. <laughs> I, want, I want to become the anti-Nike. Yeah. Right? Just don't. Just don't. No, stay home. I, listen, I know Nike's like, oh, fucking go get it. Right. Chase that gold. Or not. <laughs> or you can sit the fuck down. Or you can sit the fuck down and just don't. <laughs> Which sounds pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so this first piece of junk mail coming in from Dummy Emma, giving us some dirt on Celine Dion. You are oh. going to love this. Oh, I felt kind of bad after my Celine Dion. Oh, talk. no. She's a bitch. Hey there, Dan and Joe. Your segment about Celine Dion in this week's episode rehashed all sorts of wonderful memories for me. In fact, it's all coming back to me now. A quote from an article you read that is a, as a non Celine Dion fan, you would not have noticed it, which I didn't because she'd go fuck herself. I didn't get it. So this is the story of how myself, my best friend Ryan, and my mom were supposed to see Celine live. So the three of us had history of listening to the dramatic songs together, especially Ryan and I. Mm-hmm. And my mom, of course, loved her music since before I was born and always wanted to see her. Well, Ryan thought she would arrange for us to go to Las Vegas to see Celine perform live at the Coliseum. At the time... Ryan and I were not yet 21, so keep in mind we didn't even get to do the fun gambling and bar stuff that one is meant to do while you are in Vegas. Mm -hmm. We were really there to see Salon or Celine. We went for a few days. uh, Did not, you know, did have a lot of fun doing the underage things that we could, like uh, you know, riding on the high roller Ferris wheel and uh, seeing homeless man poop on the sidewalk. You know, (laughs) those rides. Yeah, Yeah. fun fun Vegas things. Mm -hmm. So the time finally comes for us to go to the concert. And we are buzzing with excitement all day. We get ready for our evening and head to dinner first. Then, when we go to the Coliseum to get in line for the concert, and at this point, it's probably an hour or so until uh, it's supposed to start, only to get told that the concert has been canceled and it will not be rescheduled. We were Karens about it. No, we weren't Karens about it, uh, (laughs) though there were definitely people that were being rude. We just got the info we needed to be refunded and asked if there were other shows they suggested to go see that night. Uh, I may have shed a few tears, but we chalked it up to just being some bad luck. Maybe Salon had our... Salon. <laughs> Salon Don. Salon. <clears throat> Celine had family emergency. It happens, you know. So yeah. the whole trip wasn't for naught. The night we ended up seeing uh, Cirque du Soleil, yeah. a show which was honestly really great. And we got to talk to a very drunk man who was really happy with himself for stealing a spoon from the Coliseum Buffet. <laughs> something along the lines of, that'll show him for canceling the concert. <laughs> <laughs> and the next day, we got to unexpectedly meet Gordon Ramsay, but yeah. that's another story. So here's the dirt on Celine. Come to find out, she canceled her show only an hour or two before it was meant to start, all because of an earache. Okay. I understand as a singer, your ears are probably important to have working well, but in the end, we were pretty upset that we made the whole trip out there just for it to be canceled, and we decided that Celine uh, is probably a big bitch, just like <laughs> you speculated, and the three of us still joke about it to this day. Uh, it's, uh, I'm not all that sorry for the long email, but I am a bit apologetic for not being the most eloquent writer. Your or- Argonian, 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 neighbor, yeah, mm-hmm. loyal time sucker and dummy, Emma. Ah, uh, Emma. Yeah. Oh, last name is Shep- Shepersky. I mean, there is that thing. I, I do think about. Uh, <laughs> I don't know that Celine Dion's a diva, but there definitely are Celine Dion esque singers who have crazy reputations for being divas uh lindsey um worked with rihanna for a while who was great Mm -hmm. she went on tour as like one of the stylists for like rihanna's dancers this was like years ago and then you get the dirt from like other people who are more in that niche full time yeah they worked on a bunch of other tours and you hear like the stories and there are people the main one being like mariah carey who are infamously psychotic (laughs) you know like like where they will like full-on meltdown temper tantrum tears because there wasn't like the right M and M's, there wasn't the right rose petals the in rug there. Didn't green match rug. the seat. Mm-hmm. Like these crazy, like you have to have these candles, you have to have this water, you have to have this whole room full of flowers, like on. And, and if those things aren't met, meltdown, screaming, throwing things. God, just because you're so insulated mm. and you you're surrounded only by ass kissers all the time, and you just get weirder and weirder. I don't know that about Celine, but she just reads that way to me. Yeah, people did say that. She doesn't read as like someone who's like chill and just like, ah, oh, whatever, it just doesn't matter. Just, <laughs> just go, go have it. fun tonight. Just go have fun. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I'm, I have an earache. I can fucking push through. I'm so laid back. 
<laughs> right, right. Come on, let's just do it. Listen, no plans. Just a night on the town. I know people use a lot of like their savings things. You know, people who like work like you know uh, tough jobs, like manual labor, who get up fucking every day whether they want to or not, so they don't lose their mortgage, even though their back hurts, even though they got disabilities, and they fucking push through. Kids are sick, and you know I got an earache, and you know <laughs> Ouch. it's not it's not a big deal. I can push through it, but I'm not going to. But I'm not going to because <laughs> my ear hurts. Right. I don't want to sing tonight. <laughs> no, thank uh, you. I'm mm. gonna go back to my mansion. My good, we'll sing tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> Pierre, start the jet. My ear is hurty. <laughs> Where <are> my earphones? <laughs> <laughs> so our next piece of junk mail uh, coming in from dummy electrician Trevor. Mm, Trevor. Yep. Uh, he writes, "Hey dummies, I am a journeyman electrician from Denver with some info for you guys about uh, you are chatting about the live electrical lines and such. By the way, oh, glad yeah. you guys are okay after that big windstorm. So this was Thank like you. a couple months ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, these are a couple facts to help the average person appreciate electricity, be safe, and hopefully be less dumb." Okay. Also, slight PSA if you want to read it on the podcast, which here you are. So one thing you'll often hear is that with electricity, it's not the voltage that kills you, it's the amperage. And this is true. Voltage is the force pushing electricity, amperage is how strong the current of electricity actually is. An overhead power line can have several hundred thousand volts, beyond deadly. Huh. The highest voltage you'll have in your house is the 240 volts, which is what powers your large appliances like your ovens, dryers, hot tubs, you get it. Mm-hmm. And the normal outlets like those in your bedroom, living room, kitchen, those will be 120 volts. Sounds like nothing compared to the power lines, but still don't mess with it. The lowest amp circuit in your house is 15 amps. Doesn't sound like a lot, but this is more than enough to kill you many times over, which is crazy. <laughs> so uh, actually only 5 milliamps is enough to kill an adult. So 5 one th- uh, one thousandths of an amp Although it is unlikely to truly electrically or uh, electrocute yourself to death in your house, always call an electrician when you need work done. Since we tend to charge a lot, though, most people are going to try to do the work themselves, like Joe clipping that live wire and blowing up his tool. <laughs> yeah, I did. That was a mistake. So here's my PSA. Yeah. If you're doing any electrical-related work on your house, do not attempt to do anything while the circuit is live. I mean, to my, okay. to my, I thought it was off. Right. Like the, I mean, my house wasn't wired right. All the so, other breakers were off. So make sure the breakers are off. <laughs> yeah. I'm, gl- I'm glad he dumped it down there at the end. Cause, right. Because I'm going to be honest. When you were about halfway through that middle part, I was just like, this doesn't help me at all. That sounds good. I'm going to blow myself up. Because <laughs> <Right. laughs> like, there was just too many like, technical words, which like in the amperage and then the half amperage. I, I would just be home like, no, nah, I think you can probably touch it. <laughs> I'll test it with my tongue like a nine volt battery. <laughs> right, right. If, it, if it zaps me, okay, it's on. Fuse off mm. always. Mm. Th- that is a good PSA where it's like even if you, even if it's not that powerful, whatever volt, just whatever, just to always turn it off. And they say that's what I'm taking away from that. Just always turn it off no matter what. And I just broke this rule again, even after talking about my electrical stuff. Yeah, I didn't turn off my breaker when I had to change a, an outlet or like an overhead light fixture. Mm-hmm. I just turned off the light switch and then assumed that the wires were going to be okay. Oh, because the light switch just turns it off. But if they did touch, when but I was there's still with it, live stuff in there. Yeah, if the light switch would have failed. So anyway, he goes on to say that you can get like a you know, a voltage tester for like fifteen bucks. But I did that, and I just held it in my hand, and then still clipped the wire. So it's not safety proof. <laughs> he says, if you want to see any real crazy stuff, look up arc flash videos on YouTube. Love the show. Thank you guys oh. for your hard work and laughs, you dummy, Trevor. Thank you, Trevor. And we have one last piece, also a, an electrical story that relates to a story you shared a couple weeks ago. This is coming in from Dummy Taylor, okay. who writes, Hello, Joe and Fred. When I was a kid, my family had horses, <laughs> and every day it was our oh. job to feed them before school. Uh, the gate to the pasture had an electric wire across the top, similar to the one that Dan had subscribed. Well, one morning I was extremely tired and late for school, but I still had to feed before I left. So half asleep, I opened the gate and oh walked through, only to be knocked on my ass after feeling a sharp stinging sensation <laughs> in my forehead. I had completely oh. forgotten about the electric fence. Oh. And it's, it is worth noting that our horses like pushing on the fence, so my dad had turned the electric current up to its highest setting. Damn. Needless to say, I was definitely awake after that, and I even left a red mark across my forehead for the rest of the day, which was fun to explain to everyone at school. Sorry for any spelling errors, uh, errors, but I was shocked pretty bad in the head as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm just picturing that, like hit, hitting that line right on your forehead. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> we know. I mean, we we've, we've dug into uh, stuff like in the past with brain yeah. shocking on time yeah. suck, and it really works well. It Never any down any downfall of shocking brains. <laughs> no, always a good thing. Always, always a good thing. Bingo! Shock that right out of you. <laughs> I'm thinking about that thing. Don't whiz on the electric fence. Uh, oh, I'm so glad I didn't do that. You should have done it. I wonder. Is I wonder that- if. That had somebody had to have done that before, right? I want you would get electrocuted right in your dick so hard, I would think. I, I think so. I, I mean, wonder, I wonder I, if the liquid, I wonder if the water, water would and amplify grounding, it. it's got to be, it got to be Ooh. complete the circuit, and it, and it would and it would electrocute. It would like send a uh, electricity inside your penis, which would be the best. Man, that's the best place for electricity. You know, there's, you know, there's at least one person that can't come unless they get their dick shocked, right? 
I don't know why my brain just went there. You, one? At least one. Uh, just me? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Honk, 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 honk. Sometimes I think I have a disease. We're having a good show <laughs> and talking about that. And then I just took it to like some guy can't come unless he gets shocked in his dick. <laughs> you know, sometimes For no it's no reason. No, no, it's okay. <laughs> I'm disgusted he, with myself. He does the same thing. He pushed it too far and now that's, that's his problem. <laughs> He should have just been like more happy with just like normal stuff. Exactly. He went too far, and now that that's his fault. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he just don't. Just don't All right, should we wrap up show thirty? Let's do it. All right. So thanks to Zach Cohen for creating some of the custom music beds for the show. Logan Keith, suck my dick. <laughs> Sorry, it's so funny. They just keep coming in. Uh, making the best merch in the podcast game. You can find uh, merch for all of our shows at badmagicmerch.com. If you're working for just is we dumb stuff, that is is we dumb.com. Uh, Zach Flannery, what's up, bro? Cuddles. Thank you for doing what you do today. My pleasure. <laughs> Follow us on socials, Instagram and Facebook at Is We Dumb. We got that private Facebook group, which I am guessing is at over six thousand by yes. now. Yes. Is We Dummies. Search for it. Come join. It is fun. Uh, yeah. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. All cool. of our shows are there with Time Suck, Scared to Death, and Is We Dumb to entertain you all throughout the week. So mm-hmm. much content. So much content. Um, what else? Do you have any any parting thoughts? No, I, I, uh, I, I feel, I feel fulfilled. I feel satisfied. Mm-hmm. And this will be, this will be a little button on the top. Okay. It's not a dad joke this week. It's oh. a little, little nugget of knowledge. A little neat fact. Yeah. Well, wow. neat fact. Wow. Neat fact. And I do think that you will appreciate this one. Okay. Cause it doesn't seem real, but I did look it up and fuck it is real. <laughs> so Oxford university is one of the oldest educational institutes on the planet. And it predates the beginning of the Aztec empire. Whoa. So Oxford University, 1379, Aztec Empire, 1428. That is super awesome. Isn't that fucking crazy? The people were studying in Oxford before the Aztecs. On tap, like on stone tablets. Ah, <laughs> I don't know. No, they were writing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, goodbye. It's